Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use math functions. Now I already made a video about this, but first of all, I had a terrible mic, which was the built-in mic, yeah that's terrible, and second of all, I only showed you I think three functions, so yeah, today I'm going to be recording this with more functions and a much better mic. And yeah, let's just get started. So yeah, let's start off with math.random. So math.random chooses a random number between the minimum and the maximum. Let's do 30 and 40. So yeah, if we would just print that in the output, it would just give us a random number every time between those two numbers. Now, the re I yeah, so, um, math at random only gives you integers and won't give you decimals, so you can't use decimals in it. Well, you can, but it will turn it into an integer, and that you can't overlap the minimum with the maximum, otherwise it's just not going to work. So yeah, you have to make sure the minimum is less than the maximum, and you got also got to make sure that it will give you an integer yeah and okay so that's pretty much math.random so let's put it here let's just do math.random and the next one I want to do is math.floor so what math.floor is it pretty much rounds a number down to the nearest integer so let's say 3.45 that would give us 3 and let's say 3.85 that will still give us 3 and yeah that's pretty much math.floor on the other hand math.seal so math.seal is pretty much rounds any number to to the nearest integer but it goes it rounds up this time so 3.45 that would give us 4 and 3.85 that will still be 4 so that's pretty much math.floor and math.seal. And fun fact, seal is short for sealing. And yeah, so let's just do math.floor and math.seal. So the next one I want to show you is math.pow, which is short for math.power. And it pretty much, uh, you pretty much put the number in the first parameter. In the second one, you put in what the power will be so let's say two so this pretty much means three to the second power aka three squared and this is pretty much the same of doing three and then putting this and then two this is the same and yeah so they're pretty they, they do the same thing but this just looks uh, this is just another way of doing it so yeah so that's math.pow and the next one I want to do is math.rad. So you're going to be most likely using this if you're working with C frame. So you in here you put the degrees. What what it mainly is is it pretty much converts degrees into radians. So radians are pretty much the 3D or like here the orientation. This this the value is in radians right now 45 degrees this is 45 radians actually yeah and you see if you would do 45 in let's say c frame dot angles if you just put 0, 0, 45 it wouldn't give you 45 it would give you a whole different number and it most likely won't be 45 because this is in degrees and not radians so a way we can fix this is put math.rad in here and it's pretty much yeah it pretty much turns the degrees and now it's fixed so yeah if we would just do this and then it will give you it will correctly give you 45 for the orientation so yeah that's pretty much math.rad and on the other hand we also have math.deg which is math.degrees so yeah, math.degrees pretty much converts radians into degrees. So let's say 
it's 54 radians, so I'll turn it into 54 degrees. But you might be wondering, what will I use degrees for? Like, what would I use math on uh, degrees for? So you might, if case you're trying to do like a whole crazy, a very crazy uh, calculation, but it, it gives you radians instead of degrees, then you can use use math dot degrees and one and for an example you can use um yeah you can use gy for degrees um rotation is calculated in degrees and not radians or gy so that's how you can use degrees and yeah so math dot degrees so the next one i want to show you is math dot min and math dot max so what they do is math dot min pretty much gives you the lowest number and math dot max gives you the highest number so you can put all these numbers you can put as many numbers if you want and it will return the lowest number and for max it will give uh, us the highest number so math dot min it will give us 25 in math.max it will give us 2356 so yeah that's pretty much math.min and math.max and math.max so the last one I want to show you is math.pi your math.pi is pretty much pi it just gives you pi which is equivalent to 3.14159 or just it would just give you three point I think it gives you three three point one four. So math dot pi. Yeah, it gives you that uh, these many dig digits of pi. And of course pi is an infinite number, which is as far as I know, all the number digits I know is three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine which is all I know but that's nothing compared to how much pi is there's so many it's an infinite amount of digits and yeah that's pretty much about that pi you might use math.pi or when you're using stuff like because math.pi is usually used to measure circumference and the area of a circle and spheres and all that stuff but you can use math.pi to do stuff like to do circular type of stuff and yeah that's pretty much all these math functions and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned a lot from this video and see you guys later in the next video bye Oh,